everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Actually, in my kitchen. Today we're gonna be eating like the goop queen herself, Gwyneth Paltrow. Minus the detox, of course. A very quick disclaimer though, I'm using Gwyneth's alleged diet recall as a fun entertaining example to build on to meet my own unique needs. This is not a challenge where I force myself to eat in a way that doesn't feel good to me, just for views. I honestly think that that format is pretty problematic. This is a fun twist on my traditional format to give you some real world examples on how to build out hunger crushing combo balanced meals. Before we get too far into it, let me tell you about my sponsor, Cerebral. So I've been very open about my struggles with anxiety, insomnia, and mental health. And considering that 50% of the general population has a mental health condition, I know that I'm not alone. I acknowledge that I've been super privileged to be able to access therapists and doctors and other supporters when I need them. But I also know how many of you message me to tell me that there are so many financial, time, and stigma-related barriers to getting the help that you need. So I was really excited when I heard about Cerebral. Cerebral is a 100% online mental health subscription that provides clients with ongoing comprehensive access to therapy and medication management for anxiety, depression, insomnia, and other conditions for a flat monthly rate. This is really your one-stop shop for all things mental health care. It's super convenient because they operate on your schedule where you can work visits in from the comfort and privacy of your own home whenever it's convenient for you. They also have a mobile app that allows you to message your care team with questions and access CBT exercises between visits. They have therapists that specialize in grief, trauma, stress, family issues, anxiety, depression, and more. And it's way more affordable than typical therapy. They actually have three different plans depending on your needs. You simply fill it a short online form and from there you can select from the medication and care management, medication and therapy, or therapy plan. So if this sounds like it may be helpful for you or someone you care about, check out the link in my description and get access to the questionnaire to get started today. Okay, so according to our girl Gwenny, uh, she generally just has coffee for breakfast um, and then just goes like straight to the gym and has a big thing of water with two packets of this like goop glow powder for vitamin C and skin apparently, which she says, I'm obsessed with that stuff. It's like my morning kind of orange juice. You guys know the drill on coffee. You drink it how you like it. So I'm gonna drink my coffee how I like it. And as for the vitamin C powder, yeah, I'm gonna pass. I took a closer look at these goop glow packets and they're apparently formulated with antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E to help stimulate collagen production in the skin and protect against oxidative damage. Two packs of the Goop Glow provides only 20 calories along with 13 times the recommended daily dose of vitamin C and three times your recommended vitamin E. As for their benefit for skin, one large study found that higher intakes of vitamin C was associated with a lower likelihood of wrinkles and skin dryness, while another study found that when taken together, vitamin C and vitamin E can help to reduce the risk of sun damage. But if you're getting a wide range of colorful fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds in your day, as our girl Gwyneth obviously does, it's probably an unnecessary purchase. So yeah, I personally didn't feel like spending 60 bucks to try this powder when I have a lot of food in the fridge that will do the trick. Also, I get that Gwyneth prefers not to eat before her workout, but I prefer to have at least a little fuel in the tank. So. I'm gonna have a couple of these little oranges for my vitamin C, and I've got some roasted almonds for the vitamin E. Plus, of course, some protein and healthy fats. Mm. Here's a question, Brody. Does the smell of orange peel on your fingers uh, excite you or make you wanna throw up? I mean, I don't really know if I have a feeling. I need, to, I need you to have this experience with me because it's, it's a really offensive experience. I hate the smell of I like oranges. I hate the smell of orange peels. My dog, you should see this. Poppy, come here. Come here. Come here. Now, she likes most food, but what do you think of that? See? It stinks, but I do like a little good orange. Mm. Those are good ones. 
All right, now it's time to get a little activity in for the day. We are gonna be doing a classic LA Tracy Anderson workout, which I'm actually pretty excited about, who Gwyneth praises for. I've actually never done a Tracy Anderson workout, but it actually definitely looks like it's my style. And I found a 15 minute workout of hers on the Goop website, which I was like very excited about because who doesn't want to do a quickie workout in 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get changed and I'll meet you in the gym. I'm back. That was actually really fun. I would probably do that kind of workout again. But now, yeah, girl is hungry. So apparently for a post-workout, Gwenny says, So I try to have a smoothie that has some good fat and some protein and some fiber. So sometimes I'll have like a cacao and almond butter smoothie with some spinach and some protein powder. She also says if she doesn't have the smoothie that she'll have some kind of like this like peanut butter protein bar that she can't remember the name out of. I'm pretty hungry, I'm not gonna lie. Like a few oranges and some almonds is not enough of a meal for me, nor is a smoothie. So I'm gonna do both and see how that goes and just know that lunch is just like a couple hours away. But also I'm not gonna do the cacao nibs because yeah, that shit is gross to me. I don't wanna yuck someone's yum, but cacao nibs are just like never gonna satisfy a chocolate craving for me. They're kind of like chalky and grainy and they're super bitter. They're just like a big no in my books. Cacao nibs are basically small crushed cocoa beans. So they have a very bitter dark chocolate flavor, but they're rich in fiber, are naturally low in sugar, and have the highest flavonoid content by weight of any other food. So they're often used as a healthy chocolate alternative in wellness circles. An unacceptable one, if you ask me, but you do you. But if Gwenny likes them, I mean, great. I'm gonna make up for the lost antioxidants by adding in some really nice dark cherries. So. This is my favorite smoothie. Let's do it. Frozen cherries. I buy ripe bananas by like the dozen, literally. And then I'll just freeze them for doing things like this, like smoothies. Gwyneth doesn't put bananas in hers, but I feel like it really needs some extra carbs and sweetness. These resealable bags. Ugh. Chunk, 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 chunk enough low down parts you guys know me lots of healthy fats in there plus lots of protein we got the almond butter which is apparently a favorite of Gwyneth's as well lots of fiber fat ooh, oh no <laughs> protein <laughs> mess you name it what else what else what else what else what else all right she says there's protein powder in hers. We're gonna put protein powder in ours. The key is that I'm using chocolate protein powder so that we get the kind of chocolate flavor that she's after with the cacao nibs, which to me is not like chocolate flavor. All right, a little bit of milk. That's not enough. This is like a um, non-dairy protein milk. A little more. And you know what? Just to make it extra chocolatey, cause I'm feeling that. This is my husband's specialty chocolate milk. It's A2 chocolate milk. When he picks himself up something from a grocery store, which is like <clears throat> never, it's basically only chocolate milk. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. You won't know. All right, let's see if that's enough liquid. <laughs> Clearly not. kind of how I like smoothies. Okay, let's get organized because I'm feeling like this is just a mess. Look at that. That looks so good. 
mm, mm, mm. and I got some leftover. People ask me in another video, maybe on TikTok about a smoothie, like what do you do with the leftovers? You like you eat them or drink them just like another time. Way too thick to go through that straw. That's quite the journey. You can see it tried, but my sucking, my sucking capacity just wasn't quite strong enough. I'm really determined now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm. <laughs> God, I got a bit, but that's gonna take, that will take, it'll take me all day to drink, to drink it through there. So that's what we're gonna do. I can't even get it out the other end. This is, this is gonna be a spoonable smoothie bowl. Mm. Mm. It's so creamy and good. And because like I said, a smoothie is not enough for me for a meal, even if I were to drink like seconds, I also grabbed myself a peanut butter bar to go with it. So this will be a little combo. I might need two of these, I'm not gonna lie. I just felt like Gwyneth's version was already so low carb. I added in lots of carbs, but I still definitely need more. So, mm. bro, do you wanna try? Okay, so I'm gonna go get a little bit of work done um, and then I'm gonna meet you back here at lunch. All right, folks, I am super hungry and ideally for something other than like an Erewhon inspired expensive drink. Well, let's see what our girl has for lunch. So I'm usually eating for lunch stuff that you would see on the Goop website, like um, a salad with some protein or sometimes they're testing something really fun for detox. Like, you know, they're using jicama for taco shells. Uh um, I didn't know that the words fun and detox could be put in the same sentence, but yeah, here we are. I get that this whole thing is kind of like just part of Gwyneth's brand. It's just a friendly reminder to everyone that you don't need to do anything or take anything or eat anything specific to detox your body. Your body's got your back. You've got lungs and kidneys and a liver and skin to do that for you every day, all day. Anyway, I looked up this fun detox recipe on the Goop website and honestly, it looks pretty delicious. Like I love jicama as like a raw veggie in some salad or just like to eat like a carrot stick with like a really good dip. But do we really need to say that it's gonna make a healthier taco? Like f that. This meal is like way too low carb and low calorie for me, especially in the context of Gwyneth's day. So yeah, I'm gonna make tacos, but I'm gonna make it with like a real taco shell, like a, a real tortilla because your girl needs some energy here, folks. Also, I'm gonna kinda like cut out most of the steps because who has time to make like four different in-depth from scratch meal components on a weekday for lunch? Not this girl. Let's do it. All right, let's pan fry some shrimp. Wash my hands a million times a day. Some salt, we'll keep it nice and simple so that way my kids will eat part of it. God forbid I put pepper on it, they see a little and they freak out. So I'm gonna just hold steady on that. We'll just let these babies cook up. Smells so good. Mmm, shrimpy, shrimpy, shrimp. All right guys, let's make some tacos. All right, just cutting up a little extra veggie veg just for snacking on the side. It's good, nice. Mm. Mm. All right, how are we gonna do this? Okay, first things first. I should stop talking with my, my mouth full. Okay, looks like we're low on mayo, but you guys know how I feel about this. I don't like scooping out mayo, but I just need a tiny bit because I'm gonna make a little sauce. Okay, sour cream I can do, just a little less offensive of a gloopy sound. You know, like the sound of the mayo jar. This is why, guys, this is why I don't like the mayo. It's like. That's what mayo feels like to me. And it's triggering. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of it when I put my spoon in the jar. Anyways, moving on. We've got a little bit of mayo and some sour cream. I would have used yogurt, but I only have vanilla yogurt in the house, so that was a no. And then this is like a little bit of like a, a homemade, it's not homemade by me, but like by a, by the farmer's market people, a um, little tahini. And then I guess I'll do a little lime zest. Little lime zest. 
and a tiny bit of juice. Not so much. Just enough to loosen her up. That's what she said. Sorry, that one's for you. A little more salt. All right, let's do it. Maybe a little more lime, because I like it limey. I like it limey, and I like it loose. Oh, I am just the gift that keeps on giving, am I not? Oh, uh, um. Okay, let's put this together. I've gone for three tacos. I feel like that's gonna satisfy me. I need to just cut a little avocado. Okay, let's pray to the avocado gods that it is ripe and not rotten. Oh. Pretty good. All right, a little avocado. Smashy smash. You know what? I like to get more avocado in every bite, so we just have to do a bit of a smash situation. A couple shrimps. Look at that. Boop. Some, I had some cabbage here that I just had in the house for a little crunch. I had some pineapple and I was like, ah, uh, yeah, pineapple and shrimp are fire together. So we're doing that. Let's put them onto our plate. One, two, and three. And then we'll creme it, crema it up. Well, that's just going to have to be the way it looks. We got protein in our shrimp. We got healthy fats in our avocado. We've got carbs and fiber in our whole grain tortillas, plus lots of fiber rich veg. I mean, I'm excited to eat this a lot more than I would be excited to eat like a flimsy jicama wrap. Bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfection. Mmm. Okay, so I just picked up my kids from school and I'm here to meet you back for a snack. Okay, so according to Gwyneth, around 3 to 4 p.m. she heads to the Goop snack cupboard. I would love one of those. Usually at about 3 or 4, I'll hit the snack cupboard at the Goop office. Maybe I'll have some cashews or pretzels or something like that, but I usually need something salty and crunchy in the afternoon, and then I'll usually have a cup of green tea with that, and then that will hold me through till dinner. Love this journey for her, and in my case, me. Minus the green tea, because I have like a hard 10 a.m. caffeine cutoff. Abby, I know you're super sensitive and you wanna go to bed at like 8 p.m., but you'd probably be okay with a small cup of weak tea. Green tea is generally a lot lower in caffeine than coffee, about 30 to 50 milligrams depending on how strong the brew. And a lot of sensitive folks prefer the effects of green tea over coffee because the amino acid L-theanine in green tea helps to provide the alertness that we want without the crash. Okay, I don't have a goop snack cupboard, but I do have a pantry with a lot of snacks. So I'm loving the pretzel idea. I'm loving the cashews. Here we go but I feel like I need like a little extra protein in the snack. So let's just see where we are. Beef jerky, more nuts. Ooh, crispy chickpeas. So good. Love the extra crunch. So good. Mm. Run away. This is the beigeest snack plate I've ever made, but still very nutritious and hella delicious. Okay, so it's time for me to work on dinner because Gwyneth also enjoys a geriatric dinner hour, hashtag motherhood. So let's take a look what she has. And then for dinner, you know, my kids love Asian food, so we'll have some kind of Asian fish. Um, noodles on the side. Oh, I am definitely feeling this. I found a recipe for like a steamed halibut on the Goop website. I couldn't find halibut that was fresh and looked good, but I got some salmon. So I'm gonna try that out. Plus I'm gonna do it with like, kind of like a noodle vegetable stir fry. Let's get to it. All right, so let's see what we gotta do here. Okay, we've got some parchment paper, I'm gonna throw down some bok choy leaves, which we love, a little salty salt. All right, we've got some salmon here, some ginger on top, like that. 
We need a little bit of sesame oil, just a touch. Boop. We've got a little bit of mirin, just a touch. And some soy sauce. All right, a little extra salt and pepper. Now we wrap. Well, this is tough. Come on. I'm never really good at this. I'm doing good at do a shitty job. enough. Let's put it down in the oven. A little oil. We'll throw a little bit of this. Green onion. A little bit of garlic. Whoop. A little bit of ginger. Whoop. A little bit of Monica in my life. I'm not measuring anything because I don't know how to. All right, let's stir fry some veg. Um, gonna make up a sauce right here, folks. Let's see, the syrup, need some sriracha. Looking like a good arsenal. Oh, sh whatever. Using coconut aminos, a little bit of sesame oil. A little bit of, ooh, shit, rice vinegar. I'm gonna add in my noodles. Come on, break up. Break up, folks. Oh no. This is sometimes the problem with these noodles. Oh, chaos. Why do they gotta be so damn sticky? Following what the instructions said on the package, they didn't say they were gonna stick together so aggressively. Well, we're gonna have chunks of noodles. Chunks are better than no noodles. Ooh, that's gonna be spicy as f There we go. All right, that looks good. All right, looks like our salmon is cooked and ready. Mmm, smells like really deliciously gingery. What's going on? Just like that. Some bok choy. I feel like this needs a garnish. All right, a little sesame seed action. Looks so good. Mmm. All right, let's talk about what I did for this meal. We got lots of healthy fats and protein in our salmon. We've got some carbs in our noodles. We've got tons of fiber rich veg. It looks amazing, and I am very excited to dig in. Mm. So good. Okay, so I get the sense that Gwyneth is not exactly like a big fan of sweets or like even carbs in general. So according to her Harper's Bazaar interview, she prefers a liquid dessert. And it is Friday when we are filming this. Like, Brody, I'm not mad about it. I usually have a Gibson, that's kind of my new thing, which is like a vodka martini, but with the cocktail onions, it's very my father. Or I'll have whiskey on the rocks, like a Japanese whiskey on the rocks usually. I mean, not exactly my style. Like, I'm more of like a spicy marg or like a Pinot Grigio kind of girl, but you know, when in Rome. All right, first things first, we need a shaker. I don't think there's any vodka in here, but I'll take this. So, according to my very scientific research, we just need vodka and vermouth. We got that. Should we go with the good stuff? Yes. Yes, we should. All right, let's do it. To make martini. Let's take a look. Two and a half ounces 
A vodka, half an ounce of dry vermouth. All right, let's do this. I don't have a martini glass because I'm not that fancy. Okay, half an ounce. Ooh. Mm. TGIF, baby. Need ice? Yeah, just an ounce of vodka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe we need a lemon. Um, yeah, we don't need lemon in this recipe. We don't, we don't, we don't need it. Ooh. Why is it cloudy? Is that normal? Okay. <laughs> and then apparently there's like a pickled onion situation going on. I prefer maraschino cherries, but we're doing it Gwenny's way. Ooh! It's been a hard week, but folks, not that hard. Yeah, I'm gonna like pass on that and just like have an after dinner snack instead. Well folks, what can we say about our goopy goop girlfriend Gwenny's day of eating? Well, had I not made some like liberal mods, I probably would have been hungry as f also probably just like really emotionally unsatisfied and like riddled with cravings. I just felt like there was just not enough calories or carbs in her day of eating. And the onion martini just didn't hit. The workout was kind of fun though. I mean, weird, but fun. I would maybe try it again. But anyways, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you like this format, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know whose diet you'd like to see me try and Abbify. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.